Hello Divination and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add sticky product images to your Divi product page template in Divi. This is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right. So before we get started, there's a few things you need to have in place in order for this to work. So first of all, you're going to need to install WooCommerce. WooCommerce is for free. So to download it, you want to come over here to plugins, click on add new and search for it. So WooCommerce allows you to set up an online shop. Okay, so I'm gonna search for WooCommerce and here it is. In my case, I've already gone ahead and uh, installed it and also activated it. So the next step now is to install our pack. So this is our DV theme builder pack and it's pack number five. I have a link to where you can download all this from. So once all that is in place, the next step now is to head over to Divi, click on Theme Builder, and this is where we want to install our Builder Pack product page template. All right, so I'm going to come over here to Portability, click on Import. So let me just show you what the file looks like. So when you unzip the pack, you're going to get these files. So these are six files. So the one you want to target is this one here. So this is the Builder Pack for our products. Okay, so to install it, I'm just going to drag and drop it over here like that. And then I'm going to hit import DVD builder template. I'm going to say import templates. Right. So at the moment, this is what our product page looks like. So you can see here it's pretty basic. But uh, once we install our template, this is what it's going to look like. So I'm going to hit save and then I'm going to refresh this. And now you can see that this has totally changed this is much, much better. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go in and customize this design and make it look really, really nice. All right, so what we're going to do now is to click here on this pencil icon to customize our template. Next, we're going to add a brand new row. So I'm going to click on this plus button here, click on regular, and we are now going to add our row. So the row we're going to add is pretty much a single column. And then I'm going to close here. Next, I'm going to go into my section settings by clicking on this gear icon and then clicking on design. The first thing we need to do here is to make sure we don't have any space on the top and the bottom of our section. So I'm going to add zero, activate my chain. Next, we're going to come over here to the advanced tab. And here is where we need to go to our position because we need to set our Z index. So Z index just makes sure that... Uh, our items are on top of other elements on our page. So I'm going to set this to 13. So that's all I need to do. I'm going to save. Next, I'm going to come over here to my row settings. And what I need to do here is to come over to the design sizing. And I need to make sure the row, align the row alignment here is set over to the right. Next, I'm going to search for my padding, which is right here. And I'm also going to set this to zero on both sides, top and bottom. Now it's time to add my product image. So what I'm going to do here is save and I already have a product image. So I am just going to duplicate this and uh, drag it over to the bottom or I can just right click and hit copy. And then over here, I am just gonna paste it. Okay, so you can see my image here now has been pasted. Now let's go into the settings of our image. So I'm going to click on this gear icon and here I need to uh, make a few adjustments by coming over here to elements. So on the elements here, we need to remove show gallery images and we also need to remove show sale badge. Next, we're going to come over here to the design tab, click on image and we need to make sure forceful width is selected and then we're going to update um, the sizing. So let's go to sizing so the first thing we need to do here is to set our width and this is going to be 300 pixels our modular alignment is going to be over to the right next we're going to come over here to spacing and we need to add a bit of padding to the top and this is going to be 10 and over here to the right it's going to be also 10 pixels so you can see there it's really too close to the edge so by giving it 10 pixels, you were just giving it a bit of breathing space. Now let's come over here to advanced. And this is where we need to go to position one more time and set our Z index to one. And for our sticky position, we need to make sure it's set to the top. So we're going to come over here to scroll effects. 
choose our sticky position, stick to the top. Okay, so now that our sticky position is in place, there's also a few things that we need to uh, make adjustments to. So we're going to come to our design tab and then we're going to come all the way down to our filters. So the one we're going to work with is the opacity. So we want to make sure that for the desktop, it's set to zero. And then for the sticky, it's set to 100. So I'm going to come over here and just drag this all the way down to zero. And then I am going to click on this sticky icon and make sure I'm on the sticky uh, item here and drag it all the way to 100%. So the next step is to come over here to our content. So I need to go to the column settings. So I'm going to uh, save this. So on our column settings here, I'm going to click on this gear icon and click on the column. And then we're going to come over here to the advanced custom CSS and we're going to go to the main element and add this CSS code. So this CSS code here is just being applied to the main element. Now let's see what this is going to do for us. So I'm going to save this, save this one more time, and then I'm just going to save the page. All right, so now I'm going to come over here and refresh our product page and test and see if the sticky option is going to work. There we go. So you can see my image there is in the top. And when I scroll back, it goes away. There we go. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.